there are a ton of reasons why you may need to make videos for your Etsy business. For marketing on TikTok and Reels, for your listing videos, and even for your about section video. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit expert level videos for your business using a totally free tool. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at erank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And if you've ever tried to make a short video for your Etsy listings or your marketing, you've probably come across the same issue that I did. How the heck do I edit these videos quickly and how can I do it for free? For videos like the one that you're watching right now, I use Premiere Pro. And though it's one of the best video editing softwares that you can use, it's not super practical for quick videos that you need to edit on the fly. Thankfully, I think I found the perfect alternative. Before we dive into the details, I just wanna take a quick moment to give a shout out to this week's featured shop. Thanks so much for your love and support. If you'd like to submit for your own shout out, tag Handmade Alphas in a photo or screenshot of yourself watching this video, either in your Instagram feed or Instagram stories. The app that I'll be teaching you how to use today is called CapCut. This app is totally free and has no paywalls, nor are there any locked features. I've been using CapCut for the last few months now, and it's quickly turned into my favorite free tool. So let's go into my app where I can show you how easy it is to use. All right, so I am in the CapCut app. The first thing that I wanna do is click new project and select some videos. So I'm gonna start with some videos that I shot with my phone. These are just a couple little videos that I did of some merch for my sci-fi book that I wrote. So I'm going to select these and click add. And then I can kind of see what I have, which ones I've got. Okay. The first thing that I like to do once I get my project into CapCut is I like to go in because they always put this little end screen here. I always like to go in and just delete it. Um, you can always put your own end text. Next thing I do is I drag my clips in the order that I want them in the event that they weren't placed in the order. So this one, this uh, video that I'm doing is going to be for some merch for the book that I wrote. So it's all gonna need to be cut at exactly the right spot. And then what I want to happen is I've got my book sitting here. I want the camera to zoom into my book and then immediately retract and back up to showcase this um, bottle cap, which is one of the objects in my book that's available in my merch store. So we need to make sure that we cut it just right when we do a transition like this. Oh, go away, Amber. So I need to stop it ideally right about here. So zoom, 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 zoom. And then I'm gonna stop it right about there. When you're doing these transitions, you don't want there to be too much time in between. So I'll stop right there. And then I'll click my clip and click split and then I'll just delete the second one. I don't need that one, okay? So now it'll zoom in. Now I need to do the same on this clip, but in the reverse. So it's going to be already zoomed in and back out. So I need to stop it right about here. So I'll click on the clip and I will find, there it is, my split option. And for this one, I need to delete the first half. So I can delete, okay? Let's play it. Cool, that, that went really, really well. So I'm gonna click the clip and split it again after it plays for a minute. And I will delete this one. You also have a couple other really cool options if you wanna do cool transitions in between. So for example, I'll go ahead and shorten this clip. You can also shorten the front half and back half of clips by dragging and it'll show you how many seconds. So I like to keep things really short and snappy. We'll do two seconds on this clip. And we will do, let's see. I'll start this clip when I start scrolling over the text of this particular chapter. And I will stop it right here. And let's add a cool transition. 
So to add a transition, you click this little square in between two clips. There's a lot of cool ones. So you can test them out. So there was one. Here, let's scroll it back so you can watch it again. So there's one transition. They do a lot of different flashing ones. There's cool transitions that like warp. So this one like warps a kind of weird circle off to the side. I really like the ones in social media. I think they're really cute. They don't match the particular aesthetic that I'm going for, but they could be fun depending on what your brand is. These are really neat and fun. There's some cool effects in this MG. Not sure what MG stands for, but there's different colors that you can choose from. Here's like some blue. You've got pink. You've got white ink spots. Some circles, all kinds of cool transitions. I want to find one that I saw a couple days ago that has almost like a cool lightning bolt. Actually, you know what? Let's do this black smoke. That might be fun. Ooh, there we go. Cool, I love that. And then it starts on the chapter title. And you can also choose how fast you want it to be so you can make it go a little shorter. I liked it longer. So let's play it through. All right, cool. I think that we need a transition here. I don't like it just going straight to. My book is very neon noir themed. Um, it's kind of cyberpunky. So anywhere that I can do like bright colors and neon, that's pretty cool. Play it one more time. That was neat. Now for these, we don't want to add a crazy transition because we've already given this neat effect that makes it look like I'm pulling the bottle cap right out of the book. Maybe I'll add one more effect into my last slide. What about this glitch? That was kind of neat. Maybe make it a little longer. That's fun. Okay. So let's play the whole thing together. All in one go. Cool. Cool. I like it. Um, and when you upload these, usually you have the ability to get rid of your sound, but you can also turn the sound off from here because I'm gonna be adding in music from Instagram's real library. They've got all kinds of cool songs that you can use. So I'll probably pick a different soundtrack because there are no birds in my book. <laughs> so um, very neat though. You can also add text. I like to add in at the very end of a clip. I'll add text and I will say, follow for more. I don't recommend doing anything crazy like saying, visit www.etsy.com slash shop slash Tina's wonderful magical creations. Cause nobody's gonna do that, right? They're, they're watching this real super duper quick. So we wanna keep things really short. And the best thing to do is just ask them to follow you because then they'll see your other forms of marketing within your stories, within your feed, because it is estimated that we need seven points of contact with a brand before we decide to make a purchase. It's very likely that the person who's watching your reel is seeing it for the very first time or seeing you for the very first time. So what we really want them to do is to follow us. And if you don't tell them to follow you, then they won't think to follow you. So I'm going to add follow for more on mine. Ideally, you would want to be a little bit more specific, but um, they've got a lot of really fun fonts and color effects. I'm going to go with this neon one and I'm going to choose a different font. This one's kind of cool. We'll drag it where we want it. And something else I really love about CapCut is that you can add a cool effect and animation to your text. So all you have to do is click on the red where your text is. You can drag it for how long you want it to play. So I want it to stop here, right when my video ends. Then while my text is selected, I can click animation and add in a cool effect on how I want the text to pop up. So I can make it drop in. I can make it shoot up. I can make it, oh, I like that. 
I like the glitch. Let's watch that. See how it looks. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. I think I want it to play a little sooner though. I think I want it to start playing because it takes a long time for the animation to go all the way through. I think I want it to start playing right away. Very neat. Now, the last thing that I would like to show you is how to download your reel. Um, what I would highly recommend doing is clicking on your, oop, of course I did it a little too fast. Let's go back. I recommend going into your settings and if you are able to support the space, you, you do need to have a little bit of phone space and able to do this. Um, I recommend dragging this all the way up to 4K quality, even if the video is not 4K and increasing your frame rate all the way. Because what this is going to do is even if your video isn't super clear, it's going to make it look way better. It's going to make it look nice and crisp. And then after that, you just hit the, or the download button in the top right corner. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer just depending on what all you've added, how many effects you have, how long your video is, but hopefully this one will do okay. And now it's done. All right. You also have the option to share it right to TikTok if you want to share it right to Instagram. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not logged into the proper accounts for my book, but it is easy to just share it right to the platforms that you want to share it to as long as you have them connected. So let me go ahead and I will play the smooth playback of the video and then we'll get on with it. So let's go. And remember, when creating these videos, don't assume that you can only use them once. You can take an Etsy listing video and cross post it to Instagram Reels, TikTok, Pinterest, and even YouTube Shorts. When it comes to content, video is king. And recently, we even have evidence to support that adding videos into your Etsy listings can help you to get seen on Google. If you wanna learn more about that and how to test it for yourself, be sure to watch this video up here from my good friend, Pam Duthie. In short, videos are the future when it comes to business and marketing on any platform, even your Etsy shop. With a little science, a lot of data, and some help from a trusted Etsy expert, you'll be well on your way to Etsy success. Cue the funky lo-fi beat. 